What is up, everyone? It is your man on fire mentor, David Mailer, coming to you today as we all dive into the center of the fire together and we explore a hot topic. And what is this hot topic that I'm referring to? The topic is our relationship. And the one question that you must ask yourself before you put an end to your relationship, because many women as well as many men will struggle in their relationship wondering, how do I know when I should end it? How do I know if I'm in the right with the right person? And you just don't know when it's time to get out. So my suggestion to you is do not, I repeat, do not end your relationship until you've asked yourself this one question. Now, what is that question? We're going to get to that question in a minute. But first, last night in one of our coaching programs called Firestarter, I led a four-hour uh, workshop. And one of the men in the program, he wanted to know, how do I know? Just tell me, how do I know uh, if I should get out of this marriage? You know, how do I know if, if, uh, if I'm supposed to stay with her? I, I, it's tormenting me. I've been struggling with this for so long. Just tell me, just tell me. And I'm like, do you really want me to tell you? He's like, yes. I'm like, okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what to do. So the first thing that I told him was this. Nobody, and I repeat, nobody can tell you whether or not you should or shouldn't stay in a relationship. In this case, I'm talking about a marriage. How can somebody else decide that for you? How can somebody else determine the truth that's inside of your heart? One of the questions that you have to ask yourself, and this is not the question that needs to be answered before you end a relationship, but one of the questions that you have to ask yourself is, am I courageous enough to really hear the truth? See, I believe that each of us have the ability to tap into our intuition, our heart's knowing, our gut instinct. We all have the ability to download and have the experience of just knowing and not knowing why we know. We just know that we know. And the question is, will we have the courage to act on what we know? So we have this thing called the brain that likes to use logic, analysis, reasons. It likes to be level-headed, make calculated decisions. Why? A lot of that is rooted in not wanting to get it wrong. And what is that rooted in? Well, if I get it wrong, then you have to ask yourself, well, what did you make that mean? And for most of us, if we made a bad decision, we made it mean we're stupid. If we're stupid, then we're dumb. And if we're dumb, we're not good enough. We're not good enough. We're unworthy. If we're unworthy, we don't deserve to be loved. So what's the point of my whole life? So we have a tendency to want to use our head to make decisions. And of course, you have to use your head in many instances of your life. In fact, every day you got to use your head. However, there's another vessel called your heart or your gut instinct, your intuition, your internal compass, your inner knowing. And this is something that we've gotten away from as men to be able to fully trust in that ability to just know, not know why we know, but to have the courage to act on what we know to be true. And you don't need reason. You don't need thoughts, reasons, analysis, and logic to back your knowing. You need faith and you need courage. So no one should be able to tell somebody you should or you shouldn't end your relationship. It's about not violating yourself anymore. And more often than not, if a relationship does have to come to completion, it could certainly be done with empathy. It could be done with uh, a level of respect, a level of uh, compassion, with grace, with dignity, with humility. So with this gentleman, what I told him was that, listen, if you knew the truth, would that really set you free? And, and the reality is it won't. It won't because then you would have to have the courage to act on the truth. And then I helped him see that, you know, based on wherever you're at, based on wherever you're at, however you're seeing it at this moment is the truth. However, as you grow and as you evolve and as you can see more, it's almost like you've climbed to a higher peak of the mountain and, oh my God, I didn't realize there was a whole nother level. And now I could see more and I could see what I couldn't previously see. Well, then all of a sudden where you once had a solid decision and you thought you knew something to be true, now all of a sudden you say, wow, I didn't know. I didn't know that I didn't know. I was blind to it. It was invisible to me. I didn't know. So a lot of times guys will end a relationship and years later they'll realize, my God, 
I shouldn't have ended that relationship. I just wasn't ready or I wasn't aware or I wasn't awake or I didn't know. And then later on, you come into these new awarenesses and you would have made a different decision had you had that awareness. So wherever you're at, most likely it's the right choice because that's just where you're at and you have to come into the acceptance of where you're at. However, if you're on a path of growth and you want to have a deeper truth illuminated for you that most likely makes you uncomfortable and stretches you into a higher truth, now we're playing the game of wanting to see what you couldn't previously see. Now we're playing the game of having my blind spots illuminated for me. And now we're playing the game of help me see what I am incapable of seeing. I've been scared shitless to see. Help me see something that would be a deeper truth so I could not dishonor myself and I could not betray myself and I can live into my highest truth. So what is this one question that I suggest that you ask yourself before you ever put an end to a relationship? Because it's so easy to put an end to a relationship. It's so easy to go like this and to point your finger and to think that it's her fault or to, for her to think that it's your fault. And you got a stack of le uh, reasons and lists and she doesn't do this and she doesn't do that and she's cold and, and she has a wall and she won't let me in and she's not affectionate and she's two in her mask and blah, 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 blah. No offense to any of you, but blah, 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 blah. So here's the question that you have to ask yourself. This woman that I want to end the relationship with, have I given her my best? Have I given her the best version of myself? Have I shown her my true potential? Have I lived into that full potential? Have I committed to a life of growth? Have I committed to protecting her heart, to being the gatekeeper and the guardian to the sacredness of her heart? Have I been all in? Have I leaked my energy? Have I thought about other women? Have I flirted with other women? Have I been watching pornography? Have I pleasured myself thinking about other people? Have I gone to massage parlors, strip clubs? Am I drinking too much, smoking too much? Am I hiding behind work because that's the one area that I feel successful? This is for you to understand that she wants from you what you want from her. She wants you to show the courage to live into the fullness of who you are. So put her to the side for a moment because this is not about blame. This is not about fault. This is not about 50-50. Well, what about her role? What about her responsibility? What about, what is she supposed to? First, I'm just talking to you as the man. Men go first. Men lead. I'm not saying women aren't leaders. I'm saying you must lead in your relationship. You must give her that certainty, that steadiness, that sturdiness, that unwavering, imperturbable energy that you're capable of giving where you're rooted. You know who you are. Connected below, connected above. Trusting your intuition, living from your heart, living from your power. You got to bring this to her. Somewhere along the line, you both lost your way. You lost your light. The light got more dim. The shadow took over. You're both in the wound. You're playing out your parents' stuff and their parents' stuff. And boom. Now, who are you trying to run away from? Most likely yourself. This version of the woman that you want to get out of the relationship from, again, is only in reaction and in response to how you're showing up. So who are you ending the relationship with? Because later on, three, four, five years goes by, okay, you ended the relationship. Now all of a sudden you've grown yourself and you're thinking, Jesus, if I had brought this version of me to my previous relationship, maybe it never would have ended. Then you start feeling this level of uh, sadness. Like, man, I sold her short. I cheated her. I robbed her of having this up-leveled version of who I am as a man. No wonder the relationship had that. No wonder she was so upset. No wonder she put up the walls. No wonder she didn't trust me. Right? Sadly, for many of us, hurt has to come into our life to wake up. It doesn't have to be that way. I repeat, it does not have to be that way. But for many of us, unfortunately, a trauma, a hurt, a tragedy is the catalyst that gets us on the path, gets us on the journey to want to wake up and become, become more conscious and live as an up-level version of ourselves that's more congruent with the real us. That doesn't have to be you. So what's the one question that you must ask yourself? before you put an end to your relationship is, have I really given her the best version of me? Have I really been all in on what I'm capable of bringing to this relationship? If the answer is no, well, what would happen if you took six months? What would happen if you took a year to give her the real you, 
to give her the man that's no longer vegging on the couch, hiding behind work, hiding behind making more money, hiding behind weed, hiding behind alcohol, hiding behind flirtations and affairs, hiding behind pornography. What if you actually gave her the man that's a leader? What if you gave her the man that she married knowing that he had the possibility and the capability of living into his potential? What if you gave her that man that would do whatever it takes to protect her heart? Now, some of you are thinking, well, you know, I have been David and like she has these walls up and she's so cold and she's so bitter and she's so harsh and I don't think she wants to change. Have you really given her your best version? Have you been having the courage to have the deeper conversations or do you avoid them? I know you do because I've coached over 10,000 men. Men have trouble confronting. So they think that they're just easy to get along with. I, I, I'll avoid conflict. I'll be more agreeable. That's because you haven't developed a backbone. The sad truth is most men haven't made that unwavering decision to want to grow themselves. This is what it's all about. Are you one of those guys that wants to grow yourself? Do you want to evolve? Do you want to stay the same? Or do you want to wake up? Do you want to say enough? Do you want to raise the bar, raise your standard, live into the fullness of who you were born to be? What's it going to be for you? If you were to shift, if you were to change your energy, if you were to change your vibration, if you were to show up as a more empowered version of you, all of a sudden, the person that you're interacting with in the relationship, I can promise you, will change. Or one of two things will happen. Live into this new version of yourself for a minimum of six months to a year. Give her everything you got. Show up as an empowered and inspired man that wants to grow himself with no neediness. You've cut the cord of codependency. You know who you are. You're steady. You're sturdy. You get up early. You eat healthy. You're crushing it at work. You're, you're living into your mission. and your Give her that version and watch what version of her emerges. And I promise you, for most of you, it will be a different version. Before you end your relationship and you try to get away from this person that you think is the cause of all your sadness and it'll be so much better with somebody else. And I'm not saying that it won't. But most likely you'll repeat the same patterns and the relationship that's in front of you is a mirror for where you're at. It's a mirror for where you're at in your own development and your own growth as a man. So what if you took it on as a personal challenge to want to grow yourself and give her a better version of yourself, give the world a better version of yourself, and then witness what version of her shows up by you living into this man. And again, for most of you, you'll be shocked what you see because you'll have woken her up out of her coma. You'll have allowed her to come back into her heart, back into her softening, back into her feminine grace and beauty and glory and rapture. Every man wants that. Every man wants to be a champion in his woman's eyes, his wife's eyes. We want to be celebrated. We want to be uh, held where we feel the depth of their love. And we can feel that she respects me. She trusts me. She honors me. She's proud of me. What man wouldn't want that? But you got to have those things for yourself first, guys. You have to earn that for yourself. And when you can self-source this amount of love and you can have enough respect for yourself and love yourself enough to start living into the fullness of who you were born to be, I promise you the person you're in relationship with will show up differently. And if that person doesn't, well, then at least what's revealed to you is perhaps, perhaps it's time to move on. And that's the challenge that's in front of you. So for the man that needed to hear this today, I was happy to share this message to make sure that you're asking yourself this one question. Have I given her the real version of myself? Have I given her the best version of me that I came here to live into? All right, guys, it is your man on fire mentor, David Mailer. Here is to you, rising with passion, with power, and with purpose. Thanks for diving into the center of the fire with me today, and I'll see you on next week's podcast. So much love, guys.